The first thing you need to know about error too many redirects is that it's not actually a WordPress specific issue. Rather, this is the message that your browser displays whenever it can't show you your requested content due to a redirect loop. Redirects are like forwarding addresses. You can set one up so that if a visitor clicks on a link or types in a URL for a specific page, they will be sent to a different destination instead. Typically, this technique is used when you move content on your site to a new page or delete it altogether. Redirects are also handy if you've changed your website's permalink structure. They prevent broken links and ensure that your visitors see something other than a 404 page if they try to access content that isn't where it used to be. So when error too many redirects occurs, it means that the page you're trying to reach is caught in a redirect loop, pointing out to another page that also points back to itself. In other words, page A is redirecting the page B while page B redirects to page A. This is understandably confusing for your browser to make sense of. Here are a few different strategies that may fix the issue. Number one, clear your browser data. This is a quick and simple solution and is worth trying before you dive into more complicated troubleshooting. The process of clearing your browsing data varies depending on which browser you use. However, the steps are fairly similar. And since Chrome is the most popular platform by far, we'll use it as our example. First, open the browser options by clicking the three dot icon in the top right corner of the screen and select settings. Then click on privacy and security and select clear browsing data. In the following window, make sure that cookies and other site data and cached images and files are both selected. Then click on clear data. Return to the page that was experiencing the redirect loop and see if you can access it now. Number two, check your WordPress website address and site address. Your next stop should be your WordPress settings. Navigate to settings general in your dashboard. Then look at the fields labeled WordPress address and site address. The contents of these two fields should be identical. That includes whether or not they use www and http or https. This setting can often become incorrect if you've recently changed domains or migrated to a new host. If the fields aren't the same, make any necessary corrections and save your changes. Then you can visit the page again to see if the error has been resolved. Number three, determine what's causing the loop. If you can find the source of the redirect loop, you can remove it from your site in order to get your content back online. If you've added redirects to your HT access file or by using a plugin such as redirection, you can simply check them to see if any addresses are pointing back to one another. If you're not sure how to do this or you have a lot of redirects that would take a long time to search through, you might consider using the redirect checker tool. Just enter the complete URL of the page that's experiencing the error and wait for the results. As you see here, there is a long list of 301 redirects alternating between two posts. With this information, you should be able to remove the redirects from the relevant pages. Number four, look into your HTTPS settings. Acquiring a SSL certificate and switching your site over to HTTPS is a smart move for keeping your site secure. However, if you don't go about it properly, this change can lead to redirect loops all across your site. One way to determine if your HTTPS settings are causing the error is to check your site using a redirect mapper tool. This is similar to the redirect checker, but it only shows results for www to non www redirects, as well as HTTP to HTTPS redirects. If you see multiple redirects listed between the HTTP and HTTPS versions of your site, this might be the source of the loop. Correcting them is likely to resolve your problem. Number five, access your Cloudflare settings. If you're a Cloudflare user, there's a chance that the problem you're experiencing is connected to that platform. For instance, there may be an HTTP to HTTPS redirect loop configured in your Cloudflare settings. This can occur when the flexible SSL configuration is enabled. The other potential Cloudflare related source of this error is conflicting page rules. The forwarding URL settings for this feature can create unintentional redirect loops. You can check these settings for evidence of redirect loops and consult Cloudflare support documentation for guidance on resolving them. 
If you're still having trouble, consider turning to the community forums for further assistance. And finally, number six, troubleshoot for a plugin conflict. Our last suggestion is to search for plugin conflicts on your site. This issue occurs when the code from two plugins, a plugin and a theme, or a plugin and WordPress core are working against each other. To tackle a potential plugin conflict, start by deactivating all of your plugins and checking to see whether the message goes away. If so, reactivate them one by one and keep checking your site for the error. When the message reappears, you know that the most recently activated plugin is the source of the problem. You can then remove the problem plugin from your site and replace it with an alternative if necessary. You may also want to contact the plugin's developer and let them know about the issue you encountered. And there you go. Hopefully we were able to help you fix your redirect loop error. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.